Hi Scorpio, welcome to the tarot. Hope you're doing very, very well. <clears throat> if you're new, you're very welcome here. If you're returning, welcome back. Uh, spirit, help me get clear and precise messages for my viewers, the rest of my angels and ancestors, God, block interferences and negativity, return it to where it belongs. Thank you. This full moon coming up, pay attention to your emotions, pay attention to truths. When somebody shows you who they are, believe them. When a situation shows you it is, trust that it is what it is. The first message you have is, blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Up in the corner we have Virgo, Sun, Leo, Heavy Leo, Saturn with Pisces, uh, Mom, Aries, Taurus, the scrying mirror with projection, authenticity into you, Capricorn, the 12th house, Pisces energy. We also have Syrian waves, Scorpio, lasting imprints, Aries and Taurus again showing up for y'all. So something, something could be going on where with an Aries and a Taurus that are having to deal with uh, their karma, they're having to deal with the decisions that they've made and they're having to um, pay up really um, for the work or lack of work that they've done. These people could be thinking about you, they could be, you know, wondering about you. You've got energies here, could be a Capricorn, could be a Pisces, could be anybody, but you've got an energy here that's putting their negativity off onto you. Um, somebody is projecting how they feel about themselves. Somebody is doesn't feel super confident, doesn't feel super good. This could be about finances with Capricorn, but they want you to feel that way. They could be doing things that, that triggers you into feeling like something is wrong with you, but because you're so used to this energy by now, you're like, bitch, I know who the fuck I am and I'm the fucking shit. I'm beautiful and I'm funny as shit. Take that low vibe shit on somewhere else. This could be, uh, you could be dealing with somebody that you've dealt, that you've known since childhood or that you've known maybe from your hometown or something like that. It's like what the, what the people from your past family members, ex-lovers, everything that they have already done to you. It's like these new people coming in and out can't do a fucking thing to you now. Scorpio, Scorpio, we have divine sensuality, impersonator, native narratives, ancient wisdom, and then bloom and blossom. Um, someone, this is giving a little bit of like copycat energy and how stupid someone looks going after you know, impersonators and copycat, try, trying to be with copies or something like that. But somebody could also be saying something about you or trying to say something about you, but it's not true. You're, you, you could be like dealing with a lot of different energies right now. A lot of different people, new people, new coworkers, new connections, new friendships, a lot of expansion, like growing energy here. We have Scorpio, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Cancer. Uh, the moon could definitely be affecting you and an earth sign in a big way. We have mastery and wisdom. Perfect. The fourth house, Cancer energy again, and Aquarius. Um, something could be happening to you or for you. Somebody thinks that they're gonna behave in an unpredictable way, but the way that they're behaving, for you, it's so fucking predictable. You're like, snorgasmed with it. Like, it, it, you've kind of just known it was coming. Somebody just overdoes something over and over and over again. And you're, you're bored with it. You're, I see you putting your hand up, like, just stop. You're embarrassing yourself. Um, so, but again, somebody's in a, a very like self-sabotaging energy and there's not a lot that you can do about that. You could have been dealing with a decision or a, a judgment call that you needed to make in the recent past or in the past at all. And it's like something is unraveling here and it's making your choice that much easier. Uh, with divine sensuality being here with impersonator, Somebody could use lust or sex or sex, 
you know, like less type of energy to look a certain way, but they're not, they're not the real way that they, that, you know what I mean? Like it's an impersonator. Um, this moon could definitely be shaking a lot of stuff up. This could have to do with your uh, health, your home, your environment, your kids, pay attention. Um, something could be happening as well that you may not be seeing it clearly. You may not want to see it clearly. The way this is happening though, it could sting you for just a second, but then you realize that, wow, I need it, like, it, it's for the better. Um, with Aquarius energy, it goes from devil energy down low, going down, um, low vibe energy, and it ends with Aquarius energy, which is up, healing, hope, dreams, uh, you know, wish coming true, like high, you know, so very, very good. Up in the corner, we have lots with chance and wave of power, exhilarating movement. That's what I'm saying. Like something could be happening to you. That is the luck of the draw. We have spirit kind of blocking you from unhealthy snake type of energy. We have Gemini, discipline, perspective, and communication with third eye awakening and cyclical Something happens so much that you are just bored to death with it. and But now that you know how to acknowledge a cycle, then you now you have mastered it and you have the wisdom to better know how to move forward and to dodge it. Especially if it's an unhealthy cycle. Somebody could uh, have something going on down there or they're in the energy that is going to make them have something going on down there. And once again, by chance, by luck, by spirit, by your intuition, you just fucking by the skin of your teeth, dodge that bullet. Because with some, if someone's in this low of a vibe and they're looking at you as like a high vibe, you think you're perfect type of person, they will spread their bad health to you. Ugh. Fuck. Anyway, um, we have the sixth house, Virgo energy. I serve daily organization, upkeep, and health. You could be really working on, on your home a lot. You could be working on your finances. Breaking old paradigms. Yes, right, right next to cyclical. Like, no, you don't want the impersonator. You don't want the lookalike. You will do any and all work necessary to have the real. And good for you. Especially when people are constantly trying to put their shit onto you. There's this group of people from the past that, I don't know if this is family, friends, exes, all the above, but they're constantly trying to blame you and put their shit onto you and, like, get the fuck off of Scorpio and get a fucking life. Trying to blame you and you had nothing to do, you were nowhere around. When these people make these stupid ass decisions, frankly, behind your back. Aries and Taurus energy here. We are Aries and Taurus season here. So. You could be just very focused on yourself, and you being very focused on yourself is making other people focus on you as well. Taking a vacation, yeah. And that's kind of the energy that I would recommend right now. Even if you can't physically travel and take a vacation, you need to only be around energies, spirit, that is going to make you feel like you're getting a vacation. The minute that some something or someone makes you start to worry, drop it like a fucking hot potato, Scorpio. Get out of there. It's coming in. Why is Aries and Taurus over here? What is this? Mountain road. On um, you are on the road to success. Oh, 
the wild eye and teardrops together. Psychic ability, trust your intuition and teardrops, great personal sorrow. So there's a lot of people from your past looking at you, watching you. This moon could be um, letting you know about this. This full moon in Scorpio uh, could just be letting you know, psychic ability, that you have people from your past watching you and they're sad about what they've done to you. And they're watching you be on this road to success, which is making them even more upset about whatever they've, they've done. This full moon could be bringing a lot of changes. A lot of, you know, big, beautiful changes. Try not to look at this moon or these um, alignments as catastrophic or they will be. What's Capricorn? Why is Capricorn here? Purse, pay attention to your finances. And bag. Something important, such as a new job or a raise. Hmm. <clears throat> somebody, somebody feels like they're not good enough or something. Dogs getting together with friends. Somebody could be acting like a dog. Broken wishbone, wish will not be granted. You could be cutting off a situation ship <clears throat> or cutting off multiple people and friends that just don't make you feel good. I don't think for you it has anything to do with finances, but I think for other people it does. Especially if your finances are on an incline and they're not quite there yet, they could, you know what I mean? It just like shifts people's vision. Peace and harmony, damn straight. What's coming in with impersonator and native narrative? The ladder climbing towards success. Bloom and blossom, expansion. The tortoise slowly but surely getting ahead. So a lot of growth here. You may not be seeing it, but you are. The ladder and getting ahead. Fair woman dealing a relationship with a woman with blonde, gray, or white hair. That could be significant for some of you guys. Um, some of y'all could have a, a feminine, like, wanting to seduce you or something like that. Y'all got, <clears throat> got feminine energies watching you, though. You are their inspiration. All right, what's mastery, wisdom, nurturing self? Cracked cup, dissatisfaction. Dissatisfaction with life as well. That's what I'm saying. Be careful being happy around unhappy people. Got wealth showing up. It's something to do with finances. What's Aquarius here? What does it say? Destiny, rebellious, and intelligence. Handshake. A meeting with a stranger could be important. Some of you guys may be linking up with an Aquarius, meeting an Aquarius. A meeting with a stranger could be important. Yeah, there's something as well about like unfulfilled wishes or something like that. Um, romance, celebration, and party. Uh, leading you into a, a different situation. Like, you could be spending a lot of time with a friend or, or a co-worker or something like that, but then that friend and co-worker turns out to be very, like, 
low vibe, predictable, unhealthy, start acting like a snake, make you feel worried and strange and everything. So you take a break from them and then you meet somebody else and you start spending time with them and it turns into a great connection, a great friendship, a great romantic um, partnership, you know. This is giving big like a one door closing so that this giant gate can open. It's coming in with Gemini. Communication. Dualistic. could find out about a Gemini with um, maybe some health issues. We have vacation again. So some of y'all are definitely getting ready to get the fuck out and have fun. Good for you. Third Eye Awakening. Bread, a period of prosperity and abundance. And then cyclical. Cyclical. Vacation, abundance, mule. Someone is extremely stubborn and unwilling to change with cyclical, and that's exactly what you're just not attracted to anymore. If they're doing the same shit that they've always done, it's like uh, it's so fucking tiring. Coins, money will be coming to you. Could also be dealing with a Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, and then tulip, great passion. So. Um, money, sex, and rock and roll. <laughs> Just kidding. Maybe. For some of y'all, yeah. Definitely. Um, somebody could have a uh, Virgo moon, Virgo mercury. Somebody, somebody does want to do things the right way, though, with tulip. Somebody wants to, like, take you out, give you gifts. They want to be financially stable enough to... If they want to give you flowers, they can do that. If they want to take you on a date, they can do that. Then we got dealings with a re dealings or a relationship with a younger woman. Ten of Pentacles, King of Swords. Start building something or working together with a Gemini Aquarius energy. It could be an Aquarius from your past showing up as well. Knight of Pentacles. An exciting event. Sorry, but I have to do this because I had OCD. So this moon could be bringing in some exciting We've got temptation showing up as well with the bag. Exciting news, important. Some kind of situation not working out so that you so that you end up where you're where you're meant to end up. Do people not realize that that's how it always goes? No, not when they're in low vibe energy. Page of Swords, 
Eight of Wands, somebody's watching you and could communicate any minute. They might be thinking about how to communicate with you. King of Wands energy. All right, Scorpio, show me Scorpio. It's crazy seeing all these eyes on you while you're on this successful. So we got the Two of Cups to the Three of Cups with the Knight of Cups and the Ace of Wands. There's like too many, too many energies with the world. Two of Cups, Three of Cups, Knight of Cups, Ace of Wands. There's, because two can talk about choices still. Uh, 21 to two. Yeah, flying energy. So there's a lot happening here, a lot coming in, a lot of different energies. Scorpio. trying to be friends with you for money or just like connect with you for money queen of swords energy four of pentacles I see you holding back from that kind of energy. I see you getting kind of cold and holding back uh, from energies who are, yeah, judgment. So your previous reads have been about confusion, a choice to be made. It looks like you're heading in the, this is rolling out of you making a decision. Queen of Swords is decisive, cuts through bullshit, knows. You know who and what to hold back from, Making a choice, choosing what makes you feel upward, what makes you feel, even if it's slow moving, whatever makes you feel like there's growth here, there's progress here, there is kindness mm -hmm. and makes you feel, you know, Scorpio, divine, sensual, makes you feel, especially for my feminines. Very good. Something healthy as well. And that's a huge problem nowadays, being surrounded by people that want to choose the same unhealthy things that they're used to because they've done it for so long. When you're trying to um, embrace change and health and, and different, it's like being the only gym junkie at the bar. of cups. <laughs> the star. Some of y'all are definitely coming together with an Aquarius or um, choosing, choosing the high vibration, choosing the high road. Something that's very healing and pure and seven of pentacles with the queen of pentacles wanting to invest in it. Um, feeling good about your investment as well. I heard someone say the other day, I was like, because they're traveling, and I was like, be safe, check for bugs. And they were like laughing because I have like a bug phobia. And um, they were like, well, you know, I'm traveling and these rooms are supposed to be actually really nice. And I was like, bugs don't care about money. 
and they were, they were like, don't worry, I have and will remain bug, illness, and disease free. And I was like, music to my ears, like, yes. <laughs> What's coming in? Page of Cups. So me saying that, somebody could, somebody could, because of the choices that they're okay with, someone could have illnesses, bad health, diseases, or infestations. Oh, God. What's coming in for Scorpio? No, none of that. The Hierophant. Taurus energy, but this is also you being able to um, choose and choose wisely because of what you've been through. Um, a lesson. This is also, you, you could be committing, you could be going into a relationship. Could be committing to a new job or a new, uh, some new contract. Got the Three of Swords, Ten of Cups, the Lovers. Saturn could be rocking someone's world right now, like in a not so great way. You wouldn't know because you have them on block, but. All right, Queen of Swords. Going from indecisive confusion, Seven of Cups energy, Two of Swords energy to the Queen of Swords. Yeah, you see, you seeing clearly now, Ace of Wands, and not seeing with your not seeing with your wand. Seven of Swords, yeah, that deceptive, that sneaky energy sure will open your eyes like real fucking quick. Somebody could be sneaking around with another person and then blaming their person, claiming that their person is sneaking around with you, but they're not. Nor do you want to. Looks like you got all these fucking delusional people on block. Four of Pentacles. That's the difference between you and this succubus energy. The Magician, the Eight of Cups, Three of Pentacles, the Magician. The Emperor, Five of Swords, Three of Swords. So walking away from anything that makes you feel manipulated Just, just one, just one for the Four of Pentacles. That's Capricorn energy as well. Somebody's like not good with relationships or something, or like not stable, not consistent. Four of Pentacles. Five of Wands. King of Cups, Two of Cups, and the Three of Cups. Here we go. Uh, I will get back to you. So, a couple things. King of Cups, you could be Choosing to put your cup together with somebody else.
This could talk about growth, expansion, celebrating, getting together in, in some kind of group setting. Or this could talk about three different three different cup of, cups of love. For some of you, you could be choosing between two lovers and sticking with one. For some of you, you could be going out into a group setting and then meeting someone that you really resonate with. It's the Page of Cups. Justice and the Knight of Cups. So perhaps someone coming up, because with Justice here, someone who has done something unfairly or is doing something unfairly right now in the future could have something small to say about it, whether you acknowledge it or not. You know, uh, I don't know. They could show up with something small to say when you're like, of all the things you could say to me, you choose to talk about the fucking weather um, or something like that. But there could also be energy of justice being served on a large scale right now. You could get news about a family member or just one person being deceptive and just nasty because of a because of a family or something like that. You have emotional fulfillment coming in, the three of swords, the five of swords, the two of pentacles. It's the Hierophant. There's the Hierophant here. The Hanged Man. So you have clarity, you have this new look on, yeah, with wisdom, the Hierophant. You're in some kind of position now to, to understand. To, this is like knowing, to teach, to serve justice, and to make a deal, make a healthy deal. So you're kind of like in a, a very like, it's, it is a position of power, but it, but you're not focused. Well, there's power right there, but you're not focused on the power of it. You're focused on what is the right thing to do, what is just, what is fair, what is equal, what's going to make my soul feel good. Queen of Swords, Ace of Wands. Swords. Three of Swords. The Four of Pentacles, Five of Wands. You may not even understand that someone is competing with you. Four of Pentacles, Five of Wands. High Priestess, yeah, you know, you do, you know. Perhaps somebody from your past. I 
right ear is ringing. King of Cups and the Two of Cups. The Moon. You might be talking to somebody about the Moon. You could be talking to someone like throughout this full Moon. Judgment, Scorpio Energy. Three of Pentacles, Wheel of Fortune. Wow. So there's this decision again. Somebody is getting fucking karma though, and it could be a group of three people, two or three people, two or three people. Um, somebody's getting hella fucking karma. Independence, celebration, achievement, an ace of swords, truth, cutting through any, yeah, cutting through, cutting off and cutting through any kind of bullshit, working on your money, traveling, quick forward movement, wow, success, action, slow moving but beautiful progress, damn, score up, you go. All right, what's the page of cups and justice? Somebody could be trying to send you a message. If this person has caused you harm in the past, caused you heartache in the past, or is trying to catch you up in any kind of drama, uh, do not respond, don't reply, don't acknowledge it. It's a waste of energy. What is this? Uh, page of cups, justice. Somebody could be receiving empty, empty promises from someone or just, you know what I mean? The Empress is here again. And then you're also in this energy of attracting and manifesting fairness, justice. Yeah, definitely learned what not to do to other people because like because of what other people have done to you. You've definitely learned not to manipulate your way to a win. And that is bringing a fair and, and kind of spiritual win. What's the Hierophant here with the Empress? Five of Cups. And the Hanged Man. Hierophant and Hanged Man. Ten of Cups. So, somebody is having a lot of sorrow that they lost, you know, To them, it feels like the best thing that ever happened to them. For some of them, it could be you're their own family member and the way that they did you was just wrong. They did, they can't believe they did their own family like that. Somebody could have some kind of messages or something about like, why something went some kind of way or something like that. All right, we're coming in with this Gemini kite. Abundance, energy, flowers, coins. What's going on with this? Outcome for Scorpio. What is that that's trying to pop out? Three of Pentacles. Two of Wands. You could be thinking heavily about a vacation. Thinking about going on vacation, getting ready for it. The Magician. Everything starts with a thought. <laughs> so that vacation that you're thinking of could be coming very, very quickly. Knight of Pentacles. Judgment. Outcome energy for Scorpio. Knight of Cups. Ace 
Ace of Swords. So, mm, thought, action. It's really though, it's like fiery thought, water, emotional action, and then swords, mental clarity. Queen of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, and the world. Wow. Queen of Cups, thinking. Knight of Cups, choosing something solid, something that you can rely on, something stable, something you can hold on to. And then Ace of Swords to the world. Traveling may help you see clearly. Dealing with uh, people may help you see clearly. The Emperor, the Lovers, and the King of Wands. Damn, Scorpio. The, this Emperor energy definitely feels like you, but it could be it could be an Aries, Queen of Cups, Emperor though. That feels like your energy. Ace of Pentacles and the Lovers. Like you and somebody may grow a lot of money together. The Knight of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, the Lovers, and then the World, the King of Wands, Ace of Swords, Ace of Cups, wow. Wheel of Fortune, the Devil, the Three of Wands. Yeah, there's some, some energy around you, though, that wants to behave in in, you know, low vibe. They may be stuck in this kind of behavior. They may be stuck in that kind of energy. Like, they've been stuck in that energy for so long that that's all they know how to do now. Yeah, they're... They're, they're gonna end up getting their own karma. Wheel of Fortune with the Devil. Um, and the Three of Wands, something something not very great is coming in to this person because of their repetitive behavior. And then Eight of Swords, Death, and the Fool. Um, perhaps like a lot of mental just like stuck in their head. But there's some kind of ending to being stuck in a, a way of thinking or a situation and then a breakthrough with the Fool. So, big, big breakthrough. Um, you're choosing not to see something, though, and that's okay. Somebody else could be choosing not to see something, and that's what's making you... I mean, we got the Ace of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups. Like, yeah. Presence and connect. All right, let's come in for score. Fresh start. I definitely see new connections for y'all. New something, something that's growing and healing. Look at that. Oh, yeah, resolution. But from bad health over there to healing. All right, let's come in for Scorpio advice and counsel for Scorpio. Detaching, jumping in, and look, detach. You're being asked to detach from something that you've been holding on to. When we hold on too tightly to a desired outcome, it restricts the flow. Trust that the outcome will work out and let go of any attachment to it. And then jumping in, you're being asked to take a chance and give whatever you're questioning a try. The stars will never align in just the right way. Sometimes you have to take the leap anyway. This is that time. Detach and then connect. You're being asked to connect with others in meaningful ways. Sometimes it's helpful to get a new perspective and to simply be around other people. I was just saying that. You're in need of this right now and deep connections will benefit you in many great ways. Below that we have compassion. So something Something very loving, healing, kind. You're being asked oh, you're being asked to be kinder to yourself. Give yourself a break. Instead of being a task master, a bully, or a horrible friend, be a loving comforter. 
comforter who always has your back. Awesome. So uh, a very meaningful friendship, companionship, or lover coming in for you guys. All right, Scorpio, that is what I have for this read. I hope it gave you some clarity, some guidance, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Like, comment, subscribe down below. Bye.